All right, we're winding down on our Academy Awards prediction show. Kevin Coulomb alongside Jackie K. Cooper. We're uh, looking at, uh, <laughs> you like the accent that comes out every now Cooper. and again? <laughs> Koopa. Best Director, we got Damien Chazelle for La La Land. Barry Jenkins from Moonlight. Kenneth Lonergan from Manchester by the Sea. Mel Gibson from Hacksaw Ridge. And Dennis Villeneuve from Arrival. Villeneuve? Villeneuve. Villeneuve, Villeneuve. Villeneuve. from Arrival. Um, I can tell you the big favorite is the director of La La Land, Damien Chazelle. And you and I talked. It's a movie about Hollywood. So when we get to Best Picture, and we already talked about Best Actor and Actress, and now Best Director, it's got 14 nominations. You said tied with Titanic. And, and, and was it Whiplash? Was that the name of the movie with, that he did? With Miles Teller. Miles yes. Teller. Yes. Was it Whiplash? Which was a great movie. Yes, it was excellent. Yeah, I really enjoyed that movie. And they said that the success of that, he'd been working on La La Land, but that really got him the uh, connections to get the movie made based on his reputation there. And he's young. I don't think he's in his, I think, 32, something wow. like that. So a movie about Hollywood that celebrates Hollywood, when people are picking the winners, they're from Hollywood. They're basically all yeah. patting themselves on the back and celebrating themselves, right, all yeah. weekend. So yeah. whether it's fair or not, um, he is the big favorite. Can't you see all the voters in there, you know? What's that La La movie about? Oh, it's about Los Angeles and the industry. Oh, got my Cha -ching. <laughs> But, you know, I know we're also going to talk it during our best picture segment, but I don't know, where do you want to, do you want to start with who you think doesn't belong on there? Or is there one? I, let's talk about Mel Gibson. You know, he's gone through uh, some terror in Hollywood. Wouldn't you love it if he won? They wouldn't allow it. No. But if in the last segment we talked about things should just be taken on its merits, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So the merits of this movie in and of itself, he should probably win. And have you heard, you know, this movie to me, the battle sequences were just visually <sighs> stunning. And he talks about the shoestring budget he was on and the abbreviated shooting schedule that he had and how he got so much up there on the screen. Wow. Do you think the ridge was as prominent as, I mean... I do. Do you do it right? I, I bought it, yes. I, I do too. I mean, it had to have been some type of ridge to even call it Hacksaw but to Ridge. to think about him slinging those bodies oh, over his shoulders man. and going up and down that... After tying them like up earlier lowered them down, too. Yeah, yeah, he lowered them down. And... But, you know, if I were to say who does not belong on that list, uh, well, I didn't like hardly anything on that list. <laughs> <laughs> so none of them belong <laughs> on no, there. <laughs> none of them belong. Well, where's Clint Eastwood? <laughs> That's really why I was looking at it, because I know you weren't really enthralled yeah. with any of those movies. Uh, and I hate to, you know, highlight my stupidity. Okay. But it took me talking to 50 trillion people that I assume have great intelligence to explain a rival. I knew it! I knew it! Thank you, Jackie. I love a man who doesn't mind admitting I, that. I didn't. I came out and I said... What did that mean? Yeah. Did you, again, did you from the start say, oh, this is the middle of the movie. Do you want the truth? No. Of course not. I didn't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but my wife did. God bless Heather. her, Heather. She is so intelligent. That was like with a sixth sense. You know, we were five minutes in yeah. the movie and my wife leans over and said, he's dead. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Are you crazy? Yeah, because before we went on the air, my wife said, you know, Jackie did not like Arrival. I said, no. I bet he didn't understand. It. Yeah. But you're such a movie guy. I have guy a that... with that big circle with the... Well, they're there. <laughs> and I'm thinking, you know, hey, call me stupid. <laughs> if you don't get it, then it shouldn't have the impact that it should unless you get it. If you get it, I think it should go to the top of a lot of lists. I think it's very profound. I think it's amazing. I think when, you know, you think there's a lot of flashback scenes, but they're actually flash forward, forward scenes, scenes, things that are about there to is happen. No, there, is no, there is no linear Right, and that's that the gift that they all. gave us, that there is no linear time. So, you know, they could go forward or backward. And I know it's a lot to wrap your brain around, and we'll get there when we get to best picture. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I am 100% on board. In fact, I saw it twice just so I could appreciate it. And we, go see it again. My wife and I analyzed that movie all the way home, you know, and then I talked to my son and daughter-in-law up in North Carolina, and they're like, you didn't get it? <laughs> like, but how we, could you be that dumb? Hey, we have a show, so we must know something. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> it, it, and I, there are going to be a lot of you who are like me who go to see that movie and think, 
What do you mean? Yeah, and don't feel bad. You know, go look it up online, read about it, or what, go see what it again. What was the Matthew McConaughey movie, Interstellar? Not Interstellar, was that it? Where he goes into space I didn't see and it. leaves his children behind. And Was it good? Not that good, but obviously. It was another one of those movies. It was like he was in a time warp. He, he went into space, and it took him so many years to get back, and people had aged. And, oh. And I came out of that movie, and I wrote the review, and I said, I have no clue as to what was going on in this movie. Wow. And when you just think and about... And people wrote me and said... How? <laughs> I like that you admit that we're also human and we don't get everything. And just because we love movies doesn't mean no. everyone will hit home with us, yeah. you know. But the fact that she would know that her daughter's going to have cancer in the future and pass away, and you'd still keep going on and have the birth of your child, and I mean, that's pretty deep too. And the way the she saved the planet too was pretty cool. In the middle of the story is yeah is is neat. And then you go back, back and you think you're in t- front and and everything in that movie took place at night. Yeah, see, there were like, a lot of night they sequences. Were inside, yeah, in it was dark. dark and, yeah. and they went outside and it was dark. And I thought, where's the light? Yeah. You know, and if if it's going to be nominated for Best Picture, he's going to get a nomination. It's Best Director. Where was Amy Adams? That's a great question. <laughs> I have her down here as a snub. I didn't know if I want to talk about Wait it because you didn't really like the movie that in much. In 2019... But... <laughs> <laughs> she won't. So she's not upset. Well, yeah. She's not, she's not because she knew it already she's happened. Not, she knows she's going to win in 2000. So you did understand the movie. See? <laughs> All, All right. right. Let's find a winner out of this category. I mean, we both know who's going to win. It's going to be the La La Land director, yes. Damien Chazelle. Damien Chazelle. You know, and when he says, I'm Damien Chazelle. He turns into Captain Marvel. <laughs> Shazam. So tell me who... Who you want to win. I don't think it should be Chazelle. I want Mel Gibson to win. Want, of course, from Hacksaw Ridge. And, you know, this really does show that there is redemption through your work. Because Mel Gibson, after his tirades, anti-Semitic and yes. misogynistic and all of those things that he did, he could not buy a bowl of yeah. oatmeal in I'm Hollywood. surprised he would even get oh, to make you, this movie, yes. you know? Good for and, him, I and guess. He made it. It it made money, and he is nominated. Yeah, and it is good. I, I would look, and he was. It, it is. You can feel his handprints on that movie. Too. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's a Mel Gibson movie. So, you know, I wish he would win, but I do think Damien Chazelle is going to win. Now, who would you if Damien didn't get it? Um, is he it your guy? And I know you will not agree, but uh, uh. I'm going to go with Barry Jenkins from Moonlight. I but just why? Because to me, why? those three poignant scenes of that person's life were very deep and affecting to me. They really were. I mean, they basically, you know, it's they traced about 40 minutes each scene from when he's about 10, 17, and about 22, 23 years old. And basically those huge scenes were the core and the impact of what made him who he so was. So that movie It did it for me. It did. It didn't. Yeah. It didn't for me. But, you know, he, he stands a good chance. All right. Take another break. And then we're going to come back with, I wonder what it's going to be. Best, Best picture. picture.